Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Note Block Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to build the Neon Cat doorbell. So let's click this button and then show up to build this thing. <laughs> it sings really fast, but I really like it. So here we go, guys, Neon Cat. <laughs> one more time, one more time. I actually really like this doorbell. <laughs> we saw a little bit of lag there, but it doesn't really matter. So let's start building this thing, guys. All right, guys, so for this build, we're going to need a 7x17 spacing. We're also going to have to dig down three. Now, if you have never seen one of my note block tutorials before, that purple will block down there at the left-hand corner is where I'll be placing my button. The black wool is where I'll be placing my note blocks, and the red wool is where I'll be placing my repeater. So if this is your first time building one of my note block tutorials, I highly recommend pausing the video here and building this whole little layout. However, I'm going to be starting the video right now. So what I like to do with my note block tutorials is I like to place down my note block, and on the left-hand side of the screen, a number will pop up telling you how many times you're going to have to hit. The no block, the reason why I do this is because I move extremely fast. Also, when I place down a repeater, if I say one tick, that is one tick right there. There is no such thing as zero ticks on a repeater. It goes one tick, two ticks, three ticks, four ticks, and then it resets back to one tick. So to keep that in mind, no such thing as zero ticks. So let's start building this thing, guys. So what we're going to do is right here on this purple block, we're going to put a piece of dust. Then we're going to put a block right above it with a button coming off of it. And this is where our doorbell will play. However, I'm going to be deleting mine because it's just going to get in the way. So the first note block coming off of the dust right here is going to be nine. Let's get a better view of it. How about right there? Good. One tick, 10. One tick, 12. Two ticks, 17. Two ticks, nine. One tick, 10. One tick, 12. One tick, 17. Turn right. One tick, 19. Turn right again. One tick, 21. One tick, 19. One tick, 16. One tick, 17. Two ticks, 12. Two ticks, nine. One tick, ten. Then we're turn left. One tick, twelve. Turn left again. Two ticks, seventeen. Two ticks, nineteen. One tick, sixteen. One tick, seventeen. One tick, 19. One tick, 22. One tick, 21. Turn right. One tick, 22. Turn right again. One tick, 19. And you are done. So now if we go back to the beginning, your block should already be here with your button. And you can go ahead and play your doorbell. However, you don't, if you, this is if you don't want a doorbell. <laughs> so if you want a doorbell, all you have to do is delete that block. Then put a block right to the right of this dust. Swing onto the inside. Put a repeater going into the block. Set to one tick delay. Block behind it with dust. Two blocks up from that with dust. And a block right here with a button off of it. And this is where your doorbell will stand. So once you are done building it, it should sound something like this. <laughs> it, it keeps lagging a little bit. Let's try it one more time. There we go. That sounded way better. So there you guys go. That is how you build Neon Cat's doorbell. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Peace.